All right, DVW fam, so we just touched down in Vancouver, Canada. It is our first time in Canada. Oh, Canada right now. The views are beautiful. This is our Airbnb right here. Looks pretty nice for the price we paid, about $89 a night. Look at this. Pretty nice, but the best part is the views. And we came here to do a little bit of everything for tourism, to check out the fall foliage. It is November 6th right now, so in California, we really don't get like the colorful trees. So we wanted to see that and try all the food, especially Canadian food, poutine. Follow us along our food tour and city tour of Vancouver, Canada. So this is our first dinner in Vancouver right now. We're in downtown, that's where we're staying. It's really nice here. I really like the vibes down here. It's like the downtown district. There's a couple breweries, a couple restaurants, but yeah guys, we're here to try the Flying Pig. It's supposed to be a great gastro pub restaurant here as there's great drinks, seafood, and you know, kind of like bar food. So let's try it out guys. Really excited, my first meal in Vancouver. I what do you got there? Starlino Spritz, yeah. Vermouth, vermouth um, Prosecco, and some melon. With Prosecco in it. Spagliato, it's stunning. <laughs> it's kind of spicy. Kind of spicy. I got a brew right here, a local ale. It's called a desert ale. It's a golden ale. Nice crisp, but it's always good to drink a beer in cold weather. This is like a gastro pub, so most of the food will pair well with uh, beer. These poutine fries. My first time trying real poutine in Canada. You guys ready for this? Full pork poutine right here. Wow, look at this. Let's try this out. See that? Mmm. That pulled pork is nice and tender. So soft. It's like a gravy with the fries. A little bit of cheese in here. Oh, that's good. It's so milky, comforting in this cold weather. It could be a little bit more flavorful with some like sauce or like a salt, but mmm. It's good. The fries are a little bit crunchy still. And that's why you have this beer to wash down the poutine. It's a good combo. It's that pulled pork right here. Oh, look at that cheese. How is Canadian poutine? That's good. It honestly just tastes like um, a pulled pork dish. <laughs> you can barely taste the fries, but it's actually it's pretty good. It's very warm and comforting. Lady surprise, there's bacon in there. I don't think that's, that's common. I think normally they'll put like anchovies, but it's bacon. Lea Caesar is interesting. There's like pork belly in here. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting touch to a Caesar salad. How on a gastro pub to put pork belly in a Caesar salad? Um, the cheese in here is really like thick and chewy. There's like huge globs of cheese in here. It literally just tastes like um, some cool pork, some french fries, and like a gravy. But I did hear from Tim Lee that like Vancouver is not super known for poutine. You gotta go to the east coast of Canada for some real poutine. But it is a good dish. But I mean like, kind of just tastes like regular gravy fries. But it's very good though. I give it a DVW score 8.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Salmon cake. So this spot is also known for seafood and this on their happy hour. So let's try it out. But, ooh, like tartar sauce. Super crunchy some soft shredded salmon in here. Ooh, great. Ooh, it's really crunchy. The contrast, crunchy outer shell and then the soft salmon inside. Ooh, it's good. Yeah, Leia's gonna eat the bone marrow, sip it. It's good, it's like soup, right? It just tastes like melted fat. Yeah. Leia got the bone marrow and the short rib. She said it tastes like melted fat. And I got the paella right here. So it's like a shrimp risotto, seafood risotto. Let's try it out. Mmm. Well, there's a lot of herbs and spices in here. Some tomato, tomato based sauce. Let's try the mussels though. flavorful but it's all right not the best fire I've had. All right I'll try some of what's left of Leia's bone marrow. Mmm nice and toasted. 
Yes, yeah, tastes like you're eating a soup of beef fat. Yum. Lay's plate was definitely the highlight, probably the best plate here. The braised short rib, the mashed potatoes are super buttery, but she got the right thing. I was gonna get that, but she snagged it before I did, so I wanna get a little variety. Great short rib plate. There are some highlights here, definitely some low lights. Highlights, Leia's braised short rib dish, the poutine, low lights, I'll say the paella. Oh, highlight is the Caesar salad, low lights, also the crab cake, so overall DVW score. 8 out of 10. So, pretty solid start so far. So, follow us along on the rest of our Vancouver food tour. Let's go see what we're gonna eat next. Getting on the ferry. I'm on a boat. All right, just docked at the Granville Island. We're at the public market right now, right away. There's some nice live music. You get a great view of downtown Vancouver from this side of things and yeah so there's a bunch of great food options that we already see so let's go get some grubs in our system we're really hungry we just got on the dock and there's some live music for us right here the nice view of Vancouver from Granville Island So we snagged a seat here at the public market. Our first stop is Lee's Donuts. This place is popularized by the Netflix show that David Chang and uh, Seth Rogen went through. I think it's called Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner or something like that. But that's why there's such a long line. We heard some customers talking about that show too in there. But yeah, they showed the jelly-filled donut, but they didn't have that. Maybe it's because it was too popular because it was from the show. But we got this uh, honey dip. So it's kind of like their version of a glaze. So me and Leia both got one. Let's try it out. That's really good, it's fluffy. I was gonna see if it was hot or hype. Hype, or as if it's actually hot. It's actually hot, guys. Not just because of the show. Oh, that first bite. Super spongy, chewy. And it's warm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I love doughy donuts. I might have to get another one. Oh, might have to come back for that jelly filled. Look at this. That's all you hope for in a donut. Just have it be really doughy. The inside's really chewy. And then outside, it's like a slight glaze. When you say it's too sweet, or just a good amount of sweetness? I think it's really good. It just tastes freshly taken out of the fire. Yeah. I was going to try to compare this to Donut Man in California, because that's my favorite donut place in California. I think the dough is pretty similar, but Donut Man's a tad bit less sweet, which I kind of prefer. This honey dip is, um, as the name implies, like pretty sweet, because it's uh, honey. Mm. I'm a fiend for donuts. I can eat donuts all day. So the next one we got, they said it was really popular. It was, it's a Dutch crumble, Dutch crunch, and a butter crunch. I got the butter, Leia got the Dutch. They look very similar, so we'll see which is which. This is the butter. The butter? This one's kind of cinnamony. This one's more cakey, it's like a crumble. Mmm, this is the butter. I think I like the butter one a little bit better. This one's less sweet, but it's like a cakey donut. It's not like a fluffy donut. Ooh, I much prefer the fluffy donut all the way. I gotta come back for another honey dip. The honey dip was um, the best for sure. 10 out of 10 for the honey dip. 
And then this is that. Yeah, it's whatever. I like this. <laughs> Not like my like favorite. Yeah, I don't really like old fashions. 10 Canadian for all four of those. All right, let's see what else is there to eat at uh, the public market. He's a seagull, but he looks really big from all the food that they steal from the tourists, apparently. Look how big he is. And guys, watch out for the seagulls. Man, this market is actually really big. Bunch of food options in here. All right, so we took a five minute walk over that little bridge over there and we're at the Fisherman's Wharf section of the public Granville Public Market so it's technically not the Granville Public Market still but yeah guys it is the Fisherman's Wharf so the thing to get here is seafood and fish so that's what we're about to do we're about to get some fish and chips let's do it all right so we are at Fisherman's Wharf so the thing to get here is fish and chips so last uh, Fisherman's Wharf in Victoria we got a cod which is the most common but we got the halibut this time also a white fish but a little bit more premium so a little bit pricier it was 26 dollars for this fish and chips right here Canadian for the halibut so let's try it out mm, and we got a seared tuna um, taco cone right here so it's their version of like a taco it's in a little cone kind of like a sushi hand roll um, I would show you guys the seared tuna but it looks so nice right now I don't want to open it so yeah let's try the halibut oh super crispy breading Flaky. Let's try it with some um, tartar sauce. Ooh, look, it's steaming right here because it's nice and cold in Vancouver right now. Mmm. Oh, so the halibut has like, a little bit more flavor than the cod. A little bit more of like a chew, not as flaky. Kind of tastes like a more meaty, if that makes sense. Like more fish to it, but still tastes similar to a cod. It's a little bit of like sweetness from the fish. The key thing to these fish and chips is just the breading is nice and thin it's not just like a bunch of breading and fryness just nice and thin and crispy like a chip like a fish and a chip in one Ooh, fire but just the vibes of eating this on a fisherman's wharf with the dock vancouver behind you is great Ooh, let's try the fries crispy steak fries real crunchy good fries though the standard fish and chip it's great all right, let's try out my taco. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I like the garnishes in here. Nice sweet crunch from the radishes and like the coleslaw. It has a nice like sweet glaze. Uh, it's more of like a burrito, I feel like, than like a taco. And you get that seared tuna in there. Really um, meaty, a lot of protein to tuna. So a lot of crunch to it. I didn't think it would be this good, but the thing that makes it is the coleslaw in here. Mm. And a fresh tuna, so it's like a tuna burrito. Not bad of a price too, seven um, Canadian for fresh tuna. Nice. Kind of reminds me of like a pita wrap too. On the Go Fish sign, it says like, when you eat here, you are supporting the local fishermen. So that's always great as well. Got to support, because this is kind of like a small little local shack here in the Fisherman's Wharf. There's a couple other fish and chip spots on the Granville Public Market, but they're more like restaurants. So after the fish and chips place, we had uh, still the fried taste in our mouth, so thought to stop by a brewery called the Granville Island Brewing Company to, you know, cleanse our palate from the fish and chips. So let's try out this uh, little can that we got here. It's their, it's one of their best sellers, the Island Lager. Let's try it. Ooh, nice and crisp, a pale ale. Ooh, it's really, um. It's really malty, almost has like a vanilla finish at the end. Oh, and it shows you right here. Three malt signs. <sighs> Refreshing. Love drinking beer in the cold weather. Salute. All right, so after our dinner at the Flying Pig, we decided to walk off some calories at Yale Town, and we stumbled upon this ice cream shop called Mr. No matter how cold it gets, still gotta get ice cream after dessert. I got a double Oreo ice cream cookie. Mm. It's a tough bite. Mm, the crust is really good, nice, thin, and flaky. You get the double Oreo ice cream in the middle. Fire. The crust makes this taste like an Oreo cheesecake. Mm. Right, I 
I got a creme brulee. Nice. Mmm. Well, that's really good. I think I like that better than mine. It's like a creme brulee vanilla s'mores. Really toasted on top. I can't believe we got ice cream in this cold ass weather. It's the opposite of California. Five seconds in, your ice cream would be melting. But we ate that whole ice cream and it was still hard till the end. It wasn't melted at all. It's cold. It's pretty brave of us. Yeah. It's really cold right now. Doesn't matter how cold it is, it's always um it's always time for ice cream. Also a can't miss place for food in Vancouver is Robson Street. If you guys love Asian food, I definitely recommend you guys just walk around Robson Street. We went to a ramen spot called Ramen Santuka. Got a lot of great eats, delicious ramen. Here it is. Oh, this is a Japanese cream soda right here. Nice. Miso, spicy miso. Shio combo, salmon dog, the seared pork chop right here, tokenitsu. Then after ramen, we took a few steps on Robson to walk off some calories to get some more calories at Meat Fresh for some fresh Taiwanese shaved ice. I love Meat Fresh. They have it in SoCal too, but yeah, love it. So had to get some here. And right before we left to the airport, we stopped by a donut spot in Chinatown, Vancouver called Mellow. And honestly, some of the best donuts I've had on this trip. It was great. All right, so those were just a few spots in our Vancouver food tour, Granville Public Market tour. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below where we should visit next. And there will be more to see and do in Vancouver. So make sure you guys tap in and subscribe. Deuces.